anticipation to it, a little speed to it, a little ah, whatever, just making people get their head nodded. Yeah. If y'all can feel, if y'all can hear what's in my head, then you'll get it real easily. Y'all can't hear that? Oh my God, it is so dope. Y'all can hear that? Oh. Okay, maybe it's just me. Yeah. All right. Christian and God begins to elevate you, you're going to have friends that are going to be like, man, she acting so stuck up now, or, or, or he, he, he act like he can't call the mother now, and they may ask each other, well, what's gotten into him or her? Well, this is entitled, What's Gotten Into St. Who? I may sound systems reverb with my verbs and predicates, but it is not I, it is my spiritual effervescence that manifests through me in words and tones, and sometimes groans and moans, that make inanimate objects come alive like valleys of dry bones. But these words comprised of nouns and pronouns, some verbs and adverbs, metaphors and similes, irony of reality, oxymorons and idioms, antonyms and synonyms, Homographs and homophones, especially the moans and groans at times, can only be interpreted by the Holy Spirit alone. So now unto him who sits high above, I am glad you no longer see me because I've been covered in your blood. I speak truth because that is all that is within, but ten years ago I used to speak with the tongues of men, forked and silvered and smooth like that. I once could talk the indigent homeless into giving me his last pair of slacks and a dollar from his change cup. I would drink Budweiser and Cavassier until I got lit up, but then I got lit up drunk with the Holy Spirit. So next time you see me and I'm tipsy like Ned the Wino, just so you know, I have not been sipping. But instead, I've been drinking on God and his truth. God is the bartender and my secret closet is the bar. On bended knee is my bar stool. So I pull up and drink the living waters that spring forth from his belly. Take a whiff of my breath. It's that hollow wine that don't even make your breath smelly. As often as I do that, I am remembering him. I remember him. I remember him speaking to me in dreams with my eyes wide open, like streaming video, searing images onto my cerebral cortex, creating photographic memories so precious that how can I forget he who knew no sin that became sin just for me? Images of nail scarred hands that I only wish he had slapped me with years ago to bring me to the reality of his mercies. Yet it was because of his mercy that he did not slap the stone cold Budweiser out of me. Images of his bloody flesh, of his heaving breath as he carried the cross up Golgotha Hill, crossing the threshold of the human will. Bloody tears and sweat mingled with grit and grime, and yet they never produced one shred of evidence of my master's crime. Crown of thorns, Satan rejoicing at the death of God's only born, yet it was because of his death that I was torn from the clutches of the enemy. And I wonder if you still have to ask what's gotten into me. Thank you. <laughs> 